So, my situation is one where I have always regarded my status as being normal and not something that I should be concerned about. However, when the issue came out in the public domain, I did say that while I, my own view of the matter of dual citizenship is that we should be expanding rather than narrowing the scope of who can participate in our political process, even at the highest level. I also said that I had to be mindful of where the Jamaican people felt about this. And if it became apparent that the view was that leaders in the parliament or members of parliament, senators or persons of holding high office should be exclusively Jamaican citizens, I would take that into account. And uh, comrades, we have reached a point now where we have some data on the views of the public on this matter. And uh, while I express my, my own view is on the way we ought to be going as a country in relation to this issue, I do not want my status to be something which could hold any hold the party back, impact the party negatively, or any of our candidates who are on the road to victory in difficult seats which we're looking to win to have any kind of disadvantage because of my status. So as a result of that, I have decided to take that issue off the table by renouncing my I tabled an impeachment bill in the House of Representatives in 2021 to provide a mechanism to hold to account any parliamentarian whose egregious conduct brings his or her office into disrepute. I do have British citizenship as well. I'm suggesting that you are pathological mendacious. It's tonight that is an improper suggestion. Why? And an improper After yes. he just said what he just said? Yes. It's pathological. You have a pathological condition when it comes to telling the truth. And I'm suggesting to you that you have misled, you have conspired, and you have deceived the parliament, the people of this country, the diaspora and every Jamaican. And that you should pack your bags and go. All I can say, if I were in your position, I do have British citizenship as well. Take away myself and hand over to someone else who is not compromised. I do have British citizenship as well. Mr. Patterson would only say this. No valid reason exists for maintaining the provisions pertaining to a Commonwealth citizen other than a citizen of Jamaica who is resident for at least 12 months to be eligible for parliamentary office. The qualifications must be based, in my view, on Jamaican citizenship. If you want to accept this position because of its sensitivity, you have to renounce. What is your position and your view on dual citizenship and holding such and being in the uh, par a member of parliament? The other thing I would say is that to be the ultimate leader of a country, to be the ultimate executive leader of the country, you should have no other citizenship. There should be no question by your citizens that you lead, that you, do, that you have somehow split loyalties, uh, that you have a parachute should in case anything go wrong, mm. that you may not be subject to the full force of the laws of the country that you serve because you are a citizen of another country. You, you, you could always find a way out. So, and I think that is important. I think in the minds of, of every Jamaican, the question would be, um, is the leader of your country fully, wholly and solely committed to your best interest 
and there is no other loyalty or interest mm. drawing on the decisions that they make. So I think if you allow that, mm -hmm. in other words, if you allow the leader of the, the, the country, in whatever position that leader is, mm -hmm. to have another loyalty, then every decision that that leader makes will be open for question. Mm -hmm. So it is an untenable situation. Mm. And if you intend to become leader of the country, in, in whether as you know prime minister or any top leadership, or leader of the opposition, or you know to, to head the, the parliament or whatever it is, you really should divest yourself of any other loyalty mm. that you may have. In relation to your opposition counterpart, that you're saying that his position would be untenable. I think anyone in that position is, would be untenable, and not just that, I think it would be incurable. Mm. In other words, having gone ahead to say, I want to lead the country ultimately, and not having taken that step before, mm. you can't cure it afterwards. Because already, the question is then, why didn't you do this before? Why did you carry us along mm. and not declare this to us? Can so it's not it? just untenable, it's incurable. The fact that this has taken Mark Golden 42 days to decide on a fundamental issue of dual allegiance says everything. He announced this today at an NEC meeting of the PNP, which obviously shows that he has been under significant pressure internally and externally. Any well-thinking Jamaican would have to ask himself, a simple decision of dual allegiance has taken Mark Golden 42 days to come to a decision. You cannot have one foot in and one foot out, Mark British. I'm sorry. Tom drunk, but Tom no fool. You stood to benefit from a change in the position of the opposition People's National Party. You didn't tell us that. It was under pressure that you caved yesterday. You are a candidate for Prime Minister of Jamaica, that we should vote for you, notwithstanding the fact that you still have divided loyalty between Jamaica and Britain. That's what you're asking us to do. I think the answer is no. You cannot do that. You're either with us during the good, the bad, when the weather is good or we're having storms, you can't jump on a plane and go to UK. Not when you seek the highest and most powerful political office in the land. Prime Minister, primus inter pares, first among equals. No, sir. No, sir. You must either renounce or take away yourself from being a candidate for Prime Minister of Jamaica. And just think of it politically, politically. If he were to renounce now, could it repair the damage he has done to his brand as candidate for PM? I suspect the damage is almost irreparable. What Mr. Golding has done himself and his party a serious blow. I do not want my status to be something which could hold any hold the party back, impact the party negatively, or any of our candidates who are on the road to victory in difficult seats which we are looking to win to have any kind of disadvantage because of my status. So as a result of that, I have decided to take that issue off the table by renouncing my position. <laughs> Having gone ahead to say, I want to lead the country ultimately, and not having taken that step before, mm. you can't cure it afterwards. Because already, the question is, then why didn't you do this before? Why did you carry us along mm. and not declare this to us? Can so it's curious. not just untenable, it's incurable.